Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kabir Wolf and in this video we are going to be talking about the importance of dreaming. No, I'm not talking about the dreaming we do at night. I'm talking about the dreaming of really having something. Those dreams of really being something. Those dreams of really doing something. You know what I'm talking about? Those dreams. So hit that like button and let's jump into the video. Have you ever just laid in bed and wondered about the vacation in the Maldives? Perhaps up on the hill somewhere. Maybe going on the ski, the side of the mountain. And then you realize it's 1 a.m. and you gotta get to bed because you gotta wake up in the morning and go to work, right? I thought that when I became my own boss, this whole entrepreneurship thing, I wouldn't have to worry about that. I thought that now I would have blissful, sleepy nights. I wouldn't have to worry about waking up in the morning. I could really live those dreams, right? Here's what I found out when I tried to live that. Being an entrepreneur includes having bigger dreams, having bigger and bigger and bigger dreams. Uh, one of my mentors calls it living in your mind palace. What that really means is going inside your own brain and kind of seeing things as if they've already happened. The importance of dreaming is such, when we dream, we create something that's our reality. We create something that's really out there. We create this thing that has existed within us. When we see it in our dream, we're able to see it in our reality as well. Why is it that when you're out buying a car, let's say it be a red Tesla, everything you see on the roads are red Teslas? It's not that they didn't exist before. You've activated what's called your reticular activating system or your RAS. And what this reticular activating system does is it chooses for you to focus on all of those red Teslas now. So suddenly you start seeing all the red Teslas on the road. See, the reason you have to have dreams, the reason you have to have goals, the reason you have to have aspirations is because the goals, the aspirations, the dreams are like that red Tesla. And unless you're already focusing on it, the opportunities are not going to show up for you in your life. They're going to exist in the being that you are, but they're just not going to show up for you. You're just not going to be able to recognize those opportunities. So the importance of dreaming comes in because the more you start looking at your own life and start seeing what can I be more of? What can I have more of? What can I do more of? I was listening to a Les Brown tape once and he was talking about flying first class. And he said, once in your lifetime, you must spring out the money and fly first class. I wondered why just once? Wouldn't you like to fly first class all the time? And here was his logic. He said, because the first time that you fly first class, you're going to get a taste of it. And once you get a taste for it, you know that it's possible for you as well to fly first class. And now you're automatically going to start looking for resources to be able to attract more financial resources so that you can fly first class more often. Do one thing once so that you can continuously keep doing it over and over again. Stay in a fancy hotel. Go for a fancy meal. Do it once so that you love it and then you make it your life's mission to have more of it. Motivation comes from internally, not externally, my friends. The importance of dreaming is because the motivation is internal. And when you dream, you bring that out into the external world. And as you allow that motion to flow through you, you start to see all the opportunities that are available for you. I truly believe that we as humans have been given too little years to live in this world. I've spent 27 years trying to figure it out and I'm spending no more years. I'm done. I'm going to be living a more fulfilled life. I'm going to be having everything that I want. I'm going to be doing everything that I want. And I'm really going to be who I want because that's living my life on my terms. I encourage you to start dreaming a little bit more so that you can start living life more on your terms. I truly believe that there are so many gifted individuals on this planet. And we have been given too few years to realize these gifts. In 27 years, I've been able to realize a fraction of what my potential is. So I'm going to spend the next however many years I have on this planet trying to extrapolate every single ounce of being that I have within me that I can bring out into this external world. The world deserves it. I deserve it. Think about it. I'm a college dropout. Why did I get where I am today? Because I had a dream. A dream to be better. A dream to do better. A dream to just have something so much better. And I follow that dream and I follow that passion. Sure, I might have challenges coming along my way, but who doesn't? And as you overcome those challenges, you start forcing your dream. Follow your passion, my friends. Follow your passion. Follow your dream. Now, some of us may call our dreams something like a bucket list or a goals list. Now, when's the last time you lost your bucket list down? Did you know that successful people write down their bucket lists? Did you know that successful people write down their goals? I write down my goals every single week. Every single week, I revisit my goals in every single category of life. And I do it on a daily basis. I do it on a weekly basis. I do it on a monthly basis, three months, six months, one year, five years, and 10 years. Why is it that I look at my goals so much? Why do I spend one hour every Sunday looking at my goals? Because what you focus on expands, my friends. And as you continue to focus on all of your goals by writing them down, you're going to start expanding that reality for yourself. If successful people have done this already, why not just model and do the same thing? Why try to recreate the wheel? Goals have proven to work. Bucket lists have proven to work. Why do people write bucket lists down? 
Why do people write goals down? Because it works. Think about anything that you've already achieved in your life. Think about Elon Musk. Think about Jeff Bezos. It all started with a dream. It all started with an idea. It all started with a thought. That thought, that idea conspired into something which became an action. They took that action and they took those actions and really put some feelings into it. And as they put those feelings into these actions, they start to see results. Try to follow this formula for yourself as well and see what shows up. But remember, it all starts by writing it down. If you can't write it down, if you can't put it on paper, how are you gonna ever realize? Now you might say, I don't have time to write down my goals. Man, if you don't have time to write down your goals, when are you gonna have time to achieve them? Come on now, my friends, what's important to you? Prioritize writing down your goals. Prioritize, make it a family activity. Here's the truth of the matter. I can sit and tell you all about the law of attraction and the secret and how all of that works, but you probably already know that, don't you? So let me ask you this question instead. And here's a question for this intelligent audience watching this video. What if you could achieve anything you wanted you could have anything that you wanted in this world. You could be whoever you wanted. What if you could do whatever you wanted? And all you had to do is follow the law of attraction. All you had to do is focus on it. All you had to do is write it down. All you had to do is start dreaming. Now here's my question for you. What if that's true? What if that's true? So why have a dream? Because you can't have a GPS without knowing the destination. You need to know your destination to go on the right path. Otherwise, you're just gonna be going in circles and not really getting anywhere. When you log into your GPS, what's the first question it asks you? Where are we going? If you don't know where you're going, you're not going to get anywhere. Hit that address in your GPS, put those goals down in your journal, hit that like button, subscribe down below. My IG is right here. I'll see you in the next one. Get out, go write those goals.